Thank you all so much for giving me floor to share the message from inside Myanmar. I speak as the acting foreign minister of the Republic of Union of Myanmar, an elected member of parliament and member of the committee representing Peter Zuluto Union Parliament, which we call the CIPH for short. The state of Myanmar is spiraling into chaos. Every day, the military is raiding, kidnapping, beating and killing innocent civilians across the country. At night, the military continues to terrorize the people, shot into their homes, rob the properties of the people, soldier broke the doors, arbitrarily arrest the people and sent their dead bodies to the family next morning. Teens and children have died from shots in the head while standing up for freedom and democracy. Arrested NLD members have died in custody, their bodies showing signs of torture and mutilation. To date, it is reported that approximately 300 people have been murdered and over 2,000 people detained. These figures are most likely underestimated as the military has repeatedly shut down media, journalism and the internet. Our country is living under a total mobile internet shutdown plus a complete internet blockage each and every night. The military is terrorizing the general populations. My city, Yangon, has been the slaughter ground. Our neighbors are under constant threats of the soldiers and police forces. Our streets are with full of blood. The military council is entirely responsible for the unlawful events that have unfolded in the last 48 days since the coup on 1st February 2021. The military lacks any support from the public. The people across the country has risen up to demand their freedom and democratic rights. They are carrying out a nationwide civil disobedience movement, refusing to work under the military general, freezing the public administrations and economy. Protest movements have erupted in cities, towns and villages. Millions of people have marched against dictatorships in the face of extreme violence. On top of the military's brutality, the Nema people are struggling to make ends meet. CRPH was established to safeguard democracy, promote rule of law, and protect human rights in Myanmar on behalf of the people. The CRPH has been working day and night to restore democracy at the will of the people of Myanmar. We are constructively engaging with the international actors to pressure the military leaders and ultimately bring the freedom back to our people. We have ongoing consultation with EOs, political parties and strike leaders to build a federal democratic union. We highly urge you to advocate the international actors to take intermediate actions to ensure Myanmar military stopped the murders, kidnappings, detentions and torture of the Myanmar people. The military think that they can stop us by killing people. They also think that fear is the answer. They think that the pictures of our fallen heroes can frighten us and thereby weaken our revolution. They are so wrong, my friends. What they don't know is that they can only kill a person, not an idea. Our, our revolution is all about an idea, the idea of freedom, the idea of justice, and the idea of equality. Our fallen heroes have become the guiding spirit of our spring revolution. They are never gone. They are always with us, every day, fighting for the right cause with all of us. We can still see their faces, hear their voices, feel their courageous acts, not just for us, but also for our future generations. Let me share this. Our fallen heroes from all walks of life in Myanmar may not be here with us, physically, but the values they hold and the sacrifice they made will be deeply embedded in the spirit of our revolutions and our national cause. We will carry their spirit until we achieve our goals. We will never let them die in vain. Join our cause. Use your freedom to promote ours. March together with us. This is not just the fight for us. This is the fight for humanity. For that, we shall never surrender.